Crybaby Kaepernick just got nasty revenge on NFL with what he's making them pay for now. Over a year ago, Colin Kaepernick decided to take a knee while the national anthem played in protest against supposed racial inequality in America. After the season ended Kaepernick opted out of his contract with the San Francisco 49ers in hopes he would find a new team to call home. However, that plan fell through, and Kaepernick was not signed to a team and remains unemployed even after the NFL season started weeks ago. Instead of Kaepernick dialing back his controversial antics he has only continued them and now has planned a sick revenge on the league who he wants a job with. When Colin Kaepernick knelt on the field last year in protest, everyone hoped the antics would end quickly. Sadly, the protest only gathered steams more NFL players joined in which of course, sparked controversy across the country. After last season ended and Kaepernick did not get signed by a new team the race baiters in America claimed that was because he was blackballed. Of course, that could not be further from the truth, but that has not stopped troublemakers in the media from creating more division. In a recent report, it has been discovered that Colin Kaepernick is planning on suing the NFL in a huge lawsuit. Kaepernick is claiming that the league has engaged in massive collusion to keep him out of the league based on his political beliefs. Unreal, right? Here is more Bleacher Report. After remaining unsigned through six weeks of the 2017 NFL season, Colin Kaepernick claims the league is participating in collusion. According to Bleacher Report's Mike Freeman, the former San Francisco 49ers quarterback has filed a grievance against the owners for collusion under the latest collective bargaining agreement. Per Freeman, Kaepernick has hired attorney Mark Duragos to help him in the legal situation. Jason Lockanfoara of CBS Sports also reported the quarterback's plan to file a grievance while Mike Jones of The Washington Post reported Kaepernick has hired his own lawyer to represent him. Kaepernick opted out of his contract at the conclusion of last season with the expectation he would find a new landing spot but has not gotten a new deal and has received surprisingly little interest compared to how well he played last season. He finished the year with 16 touchdowns and only 4 interceptions in 12 games. The 29-year-old was notably the first NFL player to kneel during the national anthem at the start of last season as a protest against racial injustice. The media attention is a holdup for several organizations. As former Tennessee Titans general manager Floyd Reese recently explained to 102.5 The Game, via Jason Wolf of the Tennessean, you don't want this circus. However, Commissioner Roger Goodell has denied there has been any blackballing of the quarterback. I believe that if a football team feels that Colin Kaepernick, or any other player, is going to improve that team, they're going to do it he said in June, via Alden Gonzalez of ESPN.com. Like Hanfara reported last Sunday that Kaepernick is not quitting and is willing to prove himself as a quality option. In this entire article from the Bleacher Report, they failed to mention that Colin Kaepernick was a mediocre quarterback. In fact, Kaepernick's record at the end of the season was terrible, finishing 11-1 and was a constant annoyance in the locker room. Not only was Kaepernick a distraction in the locker room but it was also reported that he had his head coach and general manager fired. Now, that is just his antics on the team and not even including his girlfriend who has continuously been stirring the pot and has even equated NFL coaches to slave owners. Why would any team owner want to bring on a player that has a history of causing division on their team? This entire lawsuit is entirely ludicrous and should be tossed out but it won't. Instead, it will cause more issues within the league by pitting NFL players against each other as well as producing an entire media circus. This lawsuit will end up making the NFL a tool of black oppression and that these players are all victims of systematic racism in America. Again, this proves that President Trump was right and that the NFL handled this situation wrong. If the league had just suspended Kaepernick for his anti-American actions, it would have stopped all future protests right in their tracks. However, they let it snowball out of control, and now this is what they get for their choices. Hopefully, the lawsuit will not cause any more issues than the protests have, but that is highly unlikely, unlikely.